Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mega Bucks Single Co-Ed Championship. We're here at Steinway Billiards in Astoria, Queens, New York, with the Super Bowl all over the walls. I'm Upstate Al of AZB TV. You're watching a co-production between AZB TV and the right-hand corner logo, NYC Grind, spinning the wheels in the metro area. Jerry Tarantola, Allison Fisher on board for this one. We're about to watch a race to five and eight ball. This is what they call the best of the rest. And it is two players that got eliminated from the tournament that were allowed to play in the second chance so tournament, so to say. No entry fee with a $500 added bounty on it. Before we get on the way, we want to thank some of our sponsors right down the line. We're going to have to make this quick because uh, the other bracket for the regular tournament is catching up. AZBilliards.com. It wouldn't be possible without AZBilliards.com. Mike Howerton, Jerry Forsyth, and the family. We thank everybody. Livestream News Group on Facebook. Simona's Cloth and Aramith Balls. The best cloth you can get in the world, along with the best playing balls in the world for billiards. The Kings of Vapor, also the Kings of Billiards out in Akron, Ohio, putting on challenge matches, having great tournaments out there. Make sure to pay attention to the Kings of Billiards on Facebook. The Tap League, the best amateur league in North America. Ozone Billiards. That's right, it's Ozone Billiards Game Room Superstore. It's OzoneBilliards.com. Pay them a visit, ship them an email, tell them you appreciate what they're doing. They like to hear from everybody. Gotham City Technologies, Ron Mason's baby there. If you have any kind of problem with your PC, you think it has a virus or it's running kind of slow, any kind of device you have, before you trash it or think that it's no good, make sure to get in touch with Gotham City Technologies. Ron Mason can remotely do some operations on it and get you back up and running. You want to build a website or just build a website and host a website, all one location, GothamCityTechnologies.com. Thank you, Ron Mason. Universe Clothing, UniverseClothing.com. Nick and crew, we want to say thank you to you. We hope everything's all right on your side of the fence. We're jumping on board and becoming a sponsor with AZD TV. And right here, Megabucks. This is their motto, why settle for less when you can have more. More trophies, more cash, more free trips. Mega Bucks, Amateur Pool League, 8 ball, 9 ball, and 10 ball. Go play mega.com. Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with a revolutionary X Shock dampening system, eliminating vibration. G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum cue control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only cue that matters. All right, we're ready when the players and the players are ready to lag, so let's sweat it now. I'm going to take a quick guess, and I'm going to say David is on our left-hand side of the table shooting a three, and Alberto is on the right-hand side shooting the nine ball for the lag. It's a race to five in the game of eight ball. It's the eight ball express, they call it. All right, I had that wrong. So Alberto won the lag. And David is the one racking. This is Alberto up at the table. Five ball fell into the side pocket. Cue ball parked right next to the rack spot there. 
Still an open table. I like the six ball. Stripes look okay, but looks like the 12 is blocked by the four. So I like the solids here. Two balls, side pocket. Don't know if he held enough. Keep that cue ball in position for the seven. And then play the four in the same corner. He just pocketed the three. Our gentleman plays pretty rapid. Some, who called the ball in hand? I guess there's a referee right around the corner where I can't see it. And it was obviously a foul. I took my eye off the table and flashed up at the Super Bowl. <laughs> the next thing I know is ball in hand for David. That kind of changed things around. Changes things right back into Alberto's hands. Seven ball is makeable, and four ball is still makeable up in the corner pocket. Seven ball cold. Fired in. Now he's faced with a cross side bank shot. If he can see enough of his four ball, he could use the 12 ball to hold the cue ball and still have a shot on the eight or fight for pole position. He elected to use the 12, and there's the shot on the eight ball. It's a cliffhanger as the eight comes to rest on the shelf. Just draw back and shoot the 11 right in the same pocket. Oh, he nudged it. He came close to pocketing the eight ball. Corner pocket right down here on the right hand side and the eight ball hanging on the shelf. Looks like David is going to draw first blood in this race to five. And he does one nothing.
David, set the break. Crack him, he does. The six ball falls into the corner pocket. And so does the 15. Two solids and a striper down. Six, one, and the 15 ball. All right, we're going to have a guest commentator sit in the booth, Maher Ali. He's going to sit in for a few minutes, and then he's got to go out and practice. Welcome aboard. You Hi. know these players? No, I do not know these players. Both of them um. pocket balls. Pretty sporty. Race to five and eight ball. David, the gentleman up at the table, leads one nothing over Alberto Burgos. Interesting. Oh, he got a lucky kiss from the 12th ball, I believe. He had to fight the pole position. Ooh. Shot's makeable. I don't know what he's waving his hands at. Joseph. So pretty much he'll make, he called a five ball. Called a five ball in the upper. Oh, he just lost a game just now. He, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. What, what happened? A, a unlucky misfortune just happened for David. Okay, so it's 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, uh, wow. What just happened? Just like that. Uh, he hit the five, and the, key, the cue ball came back and hit the eight and knocked it into the lower left-hand corner. Okay, things happen. What a horrible way to loss. Wow. How was your day today, Al? Good. Okay. Exciting. Still exciting. Yes. Uh, I'm How many more rounds me. do we have here? I'm not sure, but as I know right now, I played the winner of the next match. As of right now, I am in the money. I, I won my both matches today. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Alberto kicked off with the rack. He came up trot. Invadable. 15 ball in the okay. side pocket. I like the stripes also. Well, the solids look okay too. It's open table. I like the solids. I like the solids. The reason why you got much more room to play around with the cue ball. Stripes are good too. The only thing I don't like about the stripes are the 12 and the 13 ball up there by the one. You gotta manipulate your cue ball into that position. Right. That's probably he's going for the solids. Yes. And oh, he got just... right behind a solid, but it's the black eight ball. That's very unfortunate right there. Shot, kind of the rail. So David is at the table right now. He's looking at his shots. And I believe he called the 10 in the side, I believe. Yes, that's what he's shooting at. And no, he did not get it. So Alberto here has a chance to run out, I believe. If he could keep everything under control. Key shot is getting this one ball out of here. So I would go to six to the one and then come back out for the five. That's what I would do too. Four to four. I think that's what he tried to do. I think a little more out would have been fine. But that table is like I said, it plays slow, very slow. He's got some options here. Five, four. Ooh. Oh, took it for granted. He too stroked that.
He did what I did yesterday with ball and hands. Yeah, you had a bad angle. Yeah. What happened? Keep running at the balls like that, and after a while, they'll catch up to you. And that's exactly what happened here. No shot on the table for a pocket. Well, maybe the 13 in the corner. Why is he playing this 11 ball? Oh, maybe it goes right through between the four or five. Oh, what a shot. Oh, but he did not get it. Alberto's better think about that one ball when he can. It's the only one he has there that's in a, not a really bad area, but an area you want to eliminate. I would use this two ball right now to get to that ball. Or stop it where the four is and play the one, then come back to the five. I think that's what he's doing. Oh no. I think he could come around for this, or I think he's gonna play the one right now. One rail, right back out. Whoop. Oh, he dropped a stick there. I guess folks are starting to get tired. It's been a long day, it's seven o'clock. Some folks got here at 10 o'clock this morning, started playing. Some got here at nine, I was here at eight. And now he misses the one ball. And that's why he should have took care of that a long time ago. When you got trouble balls like that, you got to think about them and eliminate them. Don't wait for your opponent to do it because they're not going to do it. Got a little out of line. He can still pocket the 13 in the side pocket and just slow roll it. And then he could possibly play the 12 down in the right hand corner in the lower part of your monitor. Pull the side pocket for the 13, slow roll it. Just like that, there's the 12. Make it down in the bottom right hand corner, slide on top of the 11, draw, or go forward. His choice, but didn't feel comfortable with that either. I would play the one here and swing around, draw it a little bit, just with stroke the ball, let, let, let the English take up on the ball and just draw it back one cushion, come back for the five. Well, you don't really don't have to. There's a natural angle here, too. Just go right to the short rail. Well, that's what left. he did. Draw that's the it. shot he did. The yeah. same exact shot I said. If you want to let your stroke out, you could, but there was a natural angle to go forward, too. You know the reason why I know that shot with him? He's lucky he didn't get trapped up behind the 12. He's a left-hander. Eight ball into the bottom right-hand corner. It looks like Alberto is now going to take this lead. Two to one. We're racing a five. It's going to be a quick one. He's a left-hander. That's why I said that's the shot he would have took. But now Alberto racks why David gets set to smash the balls. We are in the lovely Steinway Billiards. Sponsored by NYC Grind. Also by Ozone Billiards, Game Room Superstore. Also Gotham City Technology. And don't forget, UniverseClothing.com. Dot com. Talking about dot com, he's going to try to dot this cue ball right in the center of the table. Okay. I think. Let it get away. And oh. where is it? Right, right in the center of the table. You called it. I get lucky once in a while. <laughs> like I told you yesterday, you have to play good to get lucky. I don't play good to get lucky. I get lucky and then play good. <laughs> Boy, it why works is that both thing ways. Rocking like that. That's the beat up there. I think somebody. Just won a game or something, just got hyper and slammed on it. Okay, make that ball. That was the 15 ball he just made, so. Alberto. He's also a left-hander, which I told you earlier, which he shoots very fast. He don't like to play slow. 
Well, if you got the pattern and uh, the balls are open, you got a plan of attack. The only trouble ball I see right now. Just put it into effect. Well, maybe the two and the 14. Or maybe not, the 14 goes. I believe the 14 goes. It goes right by the two into the corner pocket. It's got a whole I pocket. I don't see any trouble here. Okay. Got a little out of line here. He should have been a little straight on this so he can just follow up for the 11 in the corner. Just and killed the cue ball. Just killed the cue ball a little bit. Okay, so I guess he missed, he hit the two. He rushed it, or maybe he just missed? He had a whole pocket to shoot it, and he missed. He hit the two ball with the 14. So George just walked it in the door. Side, time with billiards. David looked like he's about to do some damage on the table. Play the five, go up for the one. That's what he did. Come back down for, that's a little bit tricky, is the angle he had there. Just rolled it over there, but he went hard. That's the reason why I don't like this shot sometimes, because you might get hooked, but he did fine. Did he get through? Yes, he did. No, he did not. That's why I like the other route better because you get more of the ball plates. You know safe. what, Mary? Nobody's keeping you here. See you later. Have a nice weekend. Something happened online, I believe. Just yeah, now. you get trolls coming in and saying things that are not necessary instead of enjoying themselves. Just remember, this is an amateur. It's called publicity. Amateur mega bucks. It's for amateurs. Eight ball into the corner pocket. And Alberto takes his third game. Just remember, folks, you don't have to be a pro to play this game. Am I right or wrong, Al? No, you don't have to be a pro to play. Once you enjoy the game, you should be fine. Somebody's watching online right now. came off I'll be right back guys the ball came off and pretty much did doing that I just want to say Keith I'm thank you uh, he's a little bit has a funny angle here to play so right now 
He made the 15. Oh, he got scratchy, scratchy, but he did not get through. So he played a 15 in the corner pocket, or the side, I believe. I can't remember. And now I believe he called a bank shot in the, the nine ball, he, and he made that as well. And yes, the what a shot! He just made he cut that ball very thin. That was the 12 ball. He cut very much, and I believe he's about to play the 10 right now. If I'm not mistaken. And he made the 10 in the lower left-hand corner. Keith, you're right, the handicaps are very crazy. 7-0, Patriots. Okay. So yes, today is the Super Bowl. And I believe I lost the game, just happened. <laughs> I believe that's... Uh, score now is now 2-3. Everybody watching. This is, everyone that watching at home, this is a race to five. Alberto is three. David is two. And he just broke off. 27. White print, 27. He just broke off there. And he did not, he made the 11 ball. So David is looking at the seven ball. Oh, and he wobbly he took it for granted. Oh man. And this is eight ball race to five. Three two Alberto the favorite here right now. At the six ball. He's looking at the four ball into the side. And breaking the three. Okay. But he got a little unlucky there. The nine is blocking him. But he should be okay. the two in the side I believe yes that's what he did and I think he might use the five ball where the nine is play the carom everyone for supporting this and he did use the nine with the five ball and he just played I believe the seven ball in the lower right hand corner right now I think he'll use the three ball to come out for the one ball into the lower right hand corner 
but first she has to make the three ball first. What a shot. You made it, perfect position. Play the one ball in the lower right hand corner. And then it play eight straight up with the upper right hand corner. Yeah, don't matter. So now it's four two by Laberto. He's on the hill now, race to five. And it's Alberto to break. Al is back with us here. Alberto just broke off. He made a ball. He made two balls. The four and the three, I believe. For everyone watching, we're at Steinmet Billiards Mega Bucks tournament right now. It's an amateur pool league. So we're not pros, I repeat, we're not pros, everyone. So if you're looking to see runouts and exciting shots, you might get one or two every two hours if you're lucky. Right now, play the 10 in the side. Plays the I believe he's looking at the 14 here. Oh no, he's playing the 12. The corner pocket. I believe he's looking at the 14 here right now. Or if I'm mistaken, to go around and play the 9. No, he's playing, thinking about playing the 14. Or maybe not, he got up again. So he decided to play the 9 ball in the upper left hand corner. He made it. Plays. The 14 ball is a trouble ball here. That's the only problem. 11 ball on the side. Ooh, he did not make it. But he did, did not left. Dave, also easy run out. It's not hard. It's very hard to do this from here. You have. Oh, he did not follow through with that shot. So, Alberto comes back to the table. Okay, so Alberto makes the 13 ball in the upper left hand corner. Now I think about he's playing the 11, the low upper right hand corner.
All right, back in action. So now there's back with us here. What's uh, going on here? Four I, to two? Yes. All right. Um, the only trouble boy here is. Oh, we got a little nip and tuck safety. David does not seem to find his rhythm right now. I like the solids from here. Five ball where it is. Leave his 14 right there. Yeah, he's not in his yeah, rhythm right now. You're supposed now. to play that with speed that you leave it near a pocket. Right now. See the way he played shot. that? See the way he played that? Push the, his object ball towards the pocket. Now, if I'm uh, David, I fire this five ball with the right amount of speed off the 14 ball to move that 14 ball away from the, uh, the corner pocket. I would play safe here. I would yeah, use you don't have to. You, you put the 14, you move the 14 back over towards the center cushion. Right, right. But the angle he has, I don't think he could, with the speed, but he's going for the option I have, play the two ball on the side. But he did not get it. Now he's in trouble. He if is now Alberto in trouble, carries out this, here, he just might have put the nail in his coffin. One rail back up, eight ball in the bottom right-hand corner. Hasta la vista, baby. Over. What a show. Wobble a little bit, I think. He got perfect, I believe, and That's score great. right gonna, now. He's going to win this match. It's about to be five. And Bada five. Bing. It's a race to five. It's over. You see them shaking hands. We're going to end this. We want to thank my half for sitting in as I was a little bit occupied. Thank We're you. We're going to end this recording. Hey, anytime. We're going to end this recording. We'll get right back to you guys and give you guys and give you a little bit of update on the next match.